welcome, welcome, welcome to Miami TV Next Jenny Live number 927 today. Hope you guys had an amazing day. Uh, we're early today. We're trying to fix up the times. And um, I think it's always better to be a little bit earlier for you guys because of our European friends. But uh, join us, guys. Welcome tomorrow. It's Wednesday. Tomorrow it's at 6 o'clock. Don't forget. ¿Qué tal, amigos? Bienvenidos. Estamos en vivo y en directo ahora con otro Jenny Live número 927 para todos ustedes. Eh, ya tenemos algunos temas en mente, pero no se olviden de que siempre pueden interactuar con nosotros en nuestra página web, miamitvchannel.com. Tenemos un chat ahí en la primerita, primerita, primerita merita página para que lo puedan ver fácilmente, interactuar fácilmente. Eh, estamos en un, hoy es martes, martes aquí en Miami y septiembre 11, así que por supuesto ya pues sin mencionarlo, pero para mencionarlo cortamente, eh, recordando las víctimas del 9-11, eh, a mí me da hasta bronca cuando, la, cuando uno ve un comercial de eso porque se sabe de que todo fue plot y planeado, hay tantas, tantas, tantos videos eh, pues comprometiendo por supuesto ¿no? el gobierno de los Estados Unidos demostrando de que eso no fue un ataque terrorista que te da muchísima bronca este día más que más que tristeza bronca pero bueno eh, lastimosamente eh, espero que hayan sí tomado unos momentos para así recordar eso all right guys um, so um, it's September 11th of course it's a delicate date um, you know it's that date that I don't know if I would say that it, it, it makes me sad but more than anything it's one of those days that if you know and you've seen the proof of the stuff of that what really happened and that it wasn't a terrorist attack it's more of a day that you really just hate our government <laughs> and that you just hate the people that did it um, and the the lies that you know are behind all that and these are not conspiracy theories these are things that are proven over and over and over again by investigators by um, specialists so more than a sad day to September 11th I think it's more of a day that really just makes you angry to the bone but um anyway um, so September 11th remember in our victims of course and uh, well, let's continue with our show make it a positive one smile and try to forget about all the nasty stuff that happens and the stuff and the, and the shit really that uh, we have to live under really of the people that are governing us right así que bueno para no estar deprimidos pues entonces comencemos un Jenny Live como siempre y recordando por no por supuesto de que tenemos que vivir en este mundo de lamentablemente gobernado por gente de y nos toca nada más unirnos con gente positiva, hacer lo mejor de nuestra vida, estar felices y eh, repartir buena onda, ¿no? <ríe> bienvenidos a todos, bienvenidos a Jenny Live y eh, bienvenidos al Jenny Live número 927. Muy bien, tenemos eh, temas de hoy dado por ustedes, muchísimas gracias. Eh, iremos uno por uno. El primero que me dejaron ayer, que creo que tuvo un poquito que ver con lo que hablamos al final, que era... Eh, que eran las oportunidades, eh, son buenas las segundas oportunidades, sí o no, deberíamos dar una segunda oportunidad, qué tal si tuviste una pareja, te fue infiel, deberías darle una segunda oportunidad, qué opinan, sí, no, eh, el que metió la pata siempre va a volver a caer o quizás la gente puede cambiar, hay muchas personas que piensan de que uno nunca puede, de que uno nunca cambia, de que el que fue siempre será, ¿no? Eh, ¿Qué opinan? Okay, so um, the first topic for today is somebody asked, um, what do I think of, what do I think of second chances? Are they good? Should we give second chances? Is it something that um, interactive? <laughs> hi guys, uh, should we give a sec should we give second chances? Is it good? Is it bad? Uh, what if you were cheated on? Does that person deserve a ch second chance? And uh, do people change? You know, do you think that people are able to change? I know a lot of people that don't believe anybody could ever change. Um, and others that really do believe in change, but I think there's more of a majority of people believing that people will never change. Um, I am a big, 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 uh, I guess we could say influencer in the sense of telling you that you can change and people do change. It's a possibility that they can change, but only if they want to. So how can you know if that person is going to change? Yeah, you can't. <laughs> so it's really just putting it all out there, taking a risk on the person and uh, seeing what happens. But if you know personally that if you wanted to change tomorrow, even if it's a really bad habit or something that you've just been super used to doing, you would just get up one day and say, you know what, I'm no longer going to do this. 
or I'm no longer going to be like this. So it's really, we have the power of choice, you have the power of willingness, and it's really all up to you to wake up one day and say, I am going to stop doing this, I'm going to stop lying, I'm going to stop being you know, a bad wife, a bad, a bad husband, a bad father, uh, a bad mother, etc. And you just, it, all it takes really is for you to acknowledge your mistakes, acknowledge your, um, I guess you could say your decision making, acknowledge the way that you uh, do things, acknowledge, uh, you know, things that you could do better and that you're not perfect. And it all starts from there. But you can't expect somebody to change if they haven't acknowledged first that they have things they need to change. It's really that simple. ¿Y qué tal si cambiamos? ¿Creen que la gente puede cambiar? Yo soy una gran, 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 eh, podríamos decir como que optimista en pensar de que la gente sí cambia. No la gente sí cambia, pero sí que existe la posibilidad de que tú puedas cambiar. O sea, lo único que toma es una, una decisión, una fuerza mental, simplemente levantarte un día y decir, ¿sabes qué? Me cansé de ser así, me cansé de ser mala persona o de que a nadie le caiga bien porque siempre hablo mal, me cansé de ser mal padre, mal madre, mal hijo, mal hermana, mal hermano, etcétera Y decir, voy a cambiar. Y sí, sí es posible que un, la, una persona pueda cambiar. Eh, ahora, que esperemos que la otra persona pueda cambiar ya es relativo. En realidad lo que haces es tirarte al agua pato, como se dice, y a ver que pase lo que pase en realidad, porque no podés... No puedes eh, estar confiado de que una persona va a cambiar. O sea, que cuando aceptes a alguien en tu vida, simplemente acéptalo o acéptala tal cual como es con sus errores y fallas, así como tú los tienes. Pero um, eh, es posible, 100% sí es posible cambiar, simple cuando tú estés consciente de tus errores, consciente de tus acciones, consciente de, eh, de tus actitudes, consciente de que tienes cosas para cambiar, consciente de que... Podrías hacer algunas cosas mejores de las que estás haciendo, simplemente poniéndole un poquito más de onda, poniéndole un poquito más de esfuerzo. Eh, y eso es eh, free will, podríamos decir libre albedrío, eso es eh, fuerza interna del querer hacer algo y punto. No hay nadie ni nada que te pueda impedir en, decir, eh, en decirte que... que que puedes cambiar o no puedas cambiar. Por lo tanto, todo está en tu interior, todo está en tu fuerza mental y tú eres el que decide si te mantienes en ese estado eh, pues continuo de negatividad y de trastorno y de estancamiento o si realmente sales adelante y, y le demuestras a las personas alrededor tuyo también de que puedes ser mejor persona. Hey Rick, welcome, what's up guys? Um, all right. So let's go with the opportunity thing. Okay, do you think that people deserve a second chance? Um, honestly, it really depends. I don't think this. Uh, I don't think this question really has like an overall answer. Because um, how bad was the mistake that that person did to you for you to really think if they deserve a second chance or not? You know. So I think if they cheated on you, I don't. I don't think that person probably deserves a second chance. A second chance. Uh, but if you really, really, really love the person then yes, you should give them a second chance because you might never get that kind of love again, even though they did mess up. Now, um, everything else, you know, if it's simple, then uh, if you were still, if a, if a person stole from you, I wouldn't give that person a second chance. Normally people that have that ache for stealing, you know, that yearning for stealing, it's just a repetitive action. Um, and if you are going to give them a second chance, let them really pay for it, you know, after a couple of years maybe, because it's kind of like we were talking about yesterday, when you don't put your foot strong on the floor, kind of, you know, that saying, uh, things would just, sorry, people would just kind of walk all over you. So um, I guess what I'm trying to say, it really depends on, on how today of course